the washer was connected to this um, drainage uh, pipe and as you can see I have disconnected it it's just mark okay so I marked the spot now I'm just gonna trim this piece off here I'm gonna use my multi-tool for that I'm also gonna trim this side and this is going to go up to it's gonna get cut right here right triangle to measure out the section that's going to get cut out to fit into this nice little slot. Okay, so that's going to be the uh, square that's going to get cut off. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. Such a tight space to be working in. But, you know, that's the way it is. So this is the cross section here. That'll get, all of this section will get cut off here. I'm using this vinyl plank cutter to create the square. What happens is I'm going to use a multi-tool to just uh, make a first cut here at this corner because the vinyl plank cutter will actually, once it cuts here, the, the plank will actually start to crack and you'll get these hairline cracks. Um, and to avoid, to avoid this, I'm just going to uh, use the multi-tool to cut here prior. get the hairline cracks that I mentioned cool and it doesn't look like I got it so that's good and there you go Well, that's my cut. So now what I will do is use this rafter square to um, mark a straight line. And there we go. So that'll do it, let's cut. That went good. I am just going to use the, the uh, razor. Because I think I can probably just snap it off. Okay, now that I squared it, I'm hoping I can just snap it off. And I can. Okay. These angled cuts require a little bit of finagling. I have to wrap it in slowly. So this cut is going to be about 26 or 25 and 3 quarters. Now I made my marking for 25 and 3 quarters which is here. And I'm going to continue the work here installing the vinyl plank, fl plank flooring on the laundry room. I've already actually got somewhat of a head start. There's already some planks laid in. Um, so I have a piece of 25 and a half inch uh, cut that I'm working on that's gonna that I'm gonna lay right now and as soon as I lay it down hopefully I can shift the washing machine enough to let me work on the other side so yeah let's get started Lino. in the slots It'll make it a little tough to insert the plank. I'm gonna grab a rubber mallet so 
but you don't harm the plank. Almost reaching the last planks or last row. Which point those are gonna require these are gonna require some long cuts that I actually do with the uh, razor or the utility knife I should say. Let's see. Tw another 26 inch cut. A little less than 26 because you need to give it a little gap here. And then all that will be left there are these little uh, fractional pieces. I'll call them fractional pieces for now. So uh, this is gonna be a 26 uh, inch cut. One thing that I that I was doing before I had this, the mantle sole vinyl plank cutter, was that I would always use the, the, the blade to course it and then uh, use leverage to break it. But this is much faster. Um, if you're doing DIY, I always suggest buying the tool that you need because DIY is already a ton of work and you really want to, um, you really want to leverage every tool possible if you're not going to leverage services, professional services. So, um, anyways, 26 inch cut. There's these gaps that you'll find. Make sure to close them up like that because they will become annoying at some point. to use the rubber mallet I don't know if I vlogged this yet but I'm using this tool to remove the trimming it goes all the way there so what I did was I marked the five inches on the plank and I'm gonna score it with the razor and use that cut to fill in those last pieces. So all it's gonna be this So I have this tool, let's see if you can see it, that I use to tighten the planks or adjust the planks. Just be careful not to hit your fingers with the hammer. Not that it's ever happened to me. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is measure 74 and a half. This is, I just bought this quarter round at Home Depot. Is that I bought this tool now before I had before this tool I would um, take the measurements grab the quarter round walk to the uh, saw and start to the walk to the miter saw and then make the cut that way that was so laborious and I did the whole house that way and I really regret not having this tool uh, beforehand I, I didn't know it existed so that was the big problem had I known that it existed I would have ran to go get it so these are shears and these are miter shears I, I think that's what they're called um, what they let you do is make cuts on the fly quickly and you just set it at the uh, 45 degree angle and make your cuts that way so 
in this scenario. And there you have it. That's a 45 degree cut. So this is eight foot quarter round. I measured all 74 and a half. And that's the cut. So I don't expect I got it just perfect. To be honest, I overshot, I overshot it just to give me some, uh, some slack and I'll trim down from there. This stuff's expensive. So I just set it to uh, 45 degrees. I don't know if it caught it. Let's hope it did. At some point I have to like get to work, you know? That'll do it. Okay, I'm just going to put the dryer back in place. Let me just clean it up. Another cool tool that I just bought was this Ryobi shop blower. Very handy. I, I, I used to just like blow on all of the dust and then some of it would hit me, would like land on my eye. Don't do that. Don't be me. All right. Added some finishing nails, I think that's what these are. Onto the quarter round and to the wall. I'll just lay it down. Um, what I'm gonna do next is is cover up the the nails, the finishing nails with um, uh, putty, I think that's what's used, and clean up. 